Hi everybody, it's Dr. Modi Charter back again for another hoot breeding season. Unfortunately, we had another case of Siblicide. We, we saw it last week in Israel Barnall camp number two that had Siblicide. Then an intruder came, predated the nestlings. I have to make a, another video on the intruder. But now we're in, uh, in Barnall, Israel, Ramon Kim. We had two different cases of Siblicides, a bit different. In Israel Barnall Cam number two, uh, the Siblicide was a nestling, ate the, um, the, the smaller siblings and actually ate them, killed them alive, which is one type of Siblicide. In this case, is a bit different. Uh, one of the cases was similar. So it's, these are difficult to watch if you don't like seeing baby birds killed. I don't suggest you watching this movie. I don't get pleasure watching it either, but it is a part of nature and it's a lot more common than we think. So let's get into it. So there's culinary four nestlings, but the third one actually became very weak, didn't get enough food and was about to die. In this case, um, the mother actually went over to the nestling. She was hungry herself understanding that the male was not bringing enough food for them she actually went over took the nestling and killed it put it out of its misery uh, then went on to feed this dead nestling to the other siblings so this is a, a form of siblicide the more common type of siblicide is that um, typically the smallest nestling there's not enough food to eat and he dies, and then after that, the mother will feed it to the nestlings, or the nestlings will eat the, their dead sibling themselves. In this case, the nestling was not completely dead, but it, it almost, it, um, it basically was. It was, wasn't gonna survive much longer. Uh, the unusual thing about this was it wasn't the smallest nestling, but uh, this third nestling was older than, than the uh, fourth nestling. Um, that just hatched. It wasn't old at all. So in 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 this case, the um, the third nestling was not able to compete with the two older siblings for food. There was not enough food. The two older siblings dominated the food, uh, and this third one ended up dying because there wasn't enough food. This is always super sad to see these things, but it's just a sad reality of nature when there's not enough resources. Uh, then some of the nestlings died in order that the other ones will survive. And this is like the case of the nestlings are now being fed their sibling, sibling and they have a higher chance of surviving, not only because they're eating their sibling, which is obviously disgusting and not you know nice to think about, but um, also because now there's less competition. So this is something, a part of the a part of evolved this way, and this is a, a harsh reality of the siblicide, so here they ate most of the um, the sibling. It's over, and now there's three nestlings, two large, very strong nestlings, and and then the the fourth nestling. Now the third nestling is super tiny, very very tiny. In this case, the other type of siblicide is is the older nestlings. The mother was not in the box. Um, they're hungry. And in this case, the oldest nestling looking there for food finds in the back corner there its younger, youngest sibling that's tiny, um, about the size of, of a, a small mouse, and goes on eating to eat his sibling even though it's alive. So basically eating him while it's alive, which is really harsh and horrible to think about that these things happen. Uh, but this is all because there's not enough resources. The, the female's job is to protect the nestlings and feed them at this age. The male is supposed to bring enough food in order that the female can divide uh, to the nestlings and feed all the nestlings and break apart food to all the nestlings. And, and once the nestlings are filled, they full, they don't eat each other. They're not, they're, they're, they're not automatically going to eat each other. But the, when the female does not get enough food, in this case, then she'll even go out and hunt uh, when the nestlings are younger. Typically at this age, a female will not go out and hunt. She stays in a box, which goes on. Uh, we always have the fear when the female goes on to hunt, 
then then the nestlings not only don't have the female there to feed them if the male brings a large prey, even though these guys are able to small swallow small mouths, but the female's not there to protect them from predation of other species uh, or nest intruders, other barn owls uh, or fledglings or adults that could come across this nest and will also predate on these two barn owls, which I need to make a video about that we recently had and which is also very common. So this is just a harsh, another harsh reality of nature. When there's not enough resources, then they do not all survive. Uh, but, 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 but by not surviving, it, it increases the chances of their siblings, which are genetically similar, to survive. So this is a very, very common part of nature. For us humans, this is difficult to watch. The worst thing for us to ever do would be to try to help them out, to intervene, because outside of this box, even if we were to feed these nestlings outside of the box, when they fledged, there would not be enough resources, enough, not enough prey, uh, and they would end up dying. So again, uh, uh, I wish the video was uh, of a video of a nest box with seven nestlings that succeeded to fledge, which does happen. Uh, but it doesn't have also this sibling side nestlings dying being eight also is also very common. So I really hope you like this video. You know, it's always nice to learn about something new, but it's not always easy to, to watch. And uh, the harsh reality of nature is that not all the nestlings survive. Uh, this is a simple reality in fact that there's not enough resources for all the animals. So it's sad on the one hand, but on the other hand, uh, it's better the nestlings die when they're young and not as developed than grow up and then suffer more when they fledge from the nest and die from starvation. So really hope you liked the video. I want to thank you for your timestamps. Again, a lot of you when you write in the chat different things you see because of you, we get to observe these and learn these stuff for ourselves. So thank you so much for the moderators do such an amazing job. They're always there to collect all this information and send it on to me. You guys are, are truly the best. If you like this content, um, if you would be willing and able to donate, we really appreciate that. We really need help. I put a link in the description. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Keep on watching. Hoochie later.